Hello, so uh, I just wanted to give you a quick demo of something I whipped up last night and today to help me uh, tune my little guitar lady here, which you can see. Um, this is an instrument that's just a smaller scale than a regular guitar. It's uh, five notes higher, so basically this first string is, um, it sounds like the second string would on a normal guitar. Uh, so if you want to play a guitar tune with software that cares about that, um, and not just the relative pitch, you have to kind of detune this. So what I do a lot of the time is uh, use this whammy pedal, um, which is uh, designed to tune, uh, kind of mix um, the instrument with an octave or two octaves uh, off from it so that you can kind of get the effect of, of um, shifting the pitch. Uh, so what I've done here is put the, the, the toe all, all the way up uh, and you can hear um, the note, which I'm going to have to mute to play for you, otherwise you'll hear the actual sound. Hang on. So that's um, the way it sounds with no modification, but if I push this down, you'll hear uh, two octaves lower. Hang on. So uh, a lot of times what I'll do is tune this by foot, um, where I want it to be about five steps off, and I'll just tune it until my tuner registers that I'm hitting E when I'm hitting this A. Uh, and that uh, has worked okay, but it but this thing kind of sticks in the middle, and it gets kind of hard to tune it uh, to precisely the right level, and then you lose the level when you unplug it. So what I did today was, and last night, was to uh, take advantage of the MIDI input and wrote a little piece of software that will automatically select the mode that I want, which is two octaves lower. I find that the mix is better with two octaves lower. Uh, and then we'll automatically set the pedal level. So whatever the pedal is, when it hears this MIDI message, uh, it'll set it as though I had tuned the pedal. So I'm gonna really quickly um, refresh this and then let you hear the difference. So. And so just to demonstrate that, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to play this uh, and this, uh, and then I'm going to play them after I've turned it off. So what you'll hear is um, that this will suddenly sound like uh, the bottom uh, when I've shifted it on. So here we go. Um, first I'm going to do uh, without, and then I'm going to do with. So let's uh, give it a try. So um, the idea is that now, I, instead of uh, spending all the day uh, kind of cussing at this thing, I can just tune it to precisely the level I want. The MIDI input gives me about 128 uh, degrees of control over those two octaves, which is more than enough to hit what I need um, for the tuner that I'm using to pick up the fact that this is uh, uh, supposed to be playing an E. So I'm hoping this will make it a little more fun to play with this, and uh, I look forward to trying it out for real. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it.